Algebra 2 CRAM, New York State Algebra 2 Regents. But no worries, this is a common core CRAM session, so it can be used for any Algebra 2 course throughout the United States, as well as any Algebra 2 course throughout the world. So shout out to Cali, Florida, Texas, North Carolina, South Carolina, India, the UK, Canada, and even Colombia. All right, functions. Question 10, range of a function. The odds of someone doing exactly what you tell them to do is slim, but I guarantee that if you cram with me, you'll become an Algebra 2 master. So inbox me at memedicine at gmail.com so that you can order and purchase the complete Algebra 2 cram session. What I'm doing is giving you a healthy dose of eye-opening awareness of your inner mathematical genius. And I'm pretty sure you have friends, classmates, colleagues, and pairs who may be taking Algebra 2 with you as well. Tell them to inbox me at memedicine at gmail.com so that they too can order the complete cram session. Question 10. Question 10, range of a function. The accompanying graph shows the temperature in Albany over an eight hour interval. What is the range of temperatures during this particular time interval? Is it going to be interval A, zero degrees is less than Y is less than, well, is less than or equivalent to Y, is less than or equivalent to 76 degrees? Is it going to be interval B, 64 degrees is less than or equivalent to Y, is less than or equivalent to 72 degrees? Is it going to be interval C, 62 degrees is less than or equivalent to Y, is less than or equivalent to 78 degrees? Or is it going to be interval D? 64 degrees is less than or equivalent to Y, is less than or equivalent to 76 degrees. Definitely press pause if you need to, and I'll give you a moment to think. And while you're thinking, in case you're unsure of what an interval is, um, in the context of Algebra 2, an interval is all the real numbers between two numbers, okay? And in case you're wondering what a real number is, real numbers are counting numbers that you find on the x-axis or y-axis. So numbers like 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, negative 1, negative 2, negative 100, uh, negative 1000, etc. Okay? Real numbers also include rational numbers. Rational numbers are numbers that can be expressed as fractions, such as 1 half, 3 over 10, 2 over 3, and when converted into decimals, ras rational um, numbers have decimals that either terminate or repeat. And last but not least, real numbers also include irrational numbers. These are numbers that cannot be expressed as simple fractions. Um, reason being, when you try to convert them into decimals, they have decimals that do not terminate or repeat. So an example of this would be the number radical 2, or the square root of 2, okay? Uh, when you try to analyze this number, it has a decimal that doesn't repeat, but its approximate value is about 1.41, dot, dot, dot. Also, the number pi, which we often abbreviate as 3.14, but the decimal does continue, as well as Euler's number, or e, or the natural number, whose value is approximately 2.71. All right, so after that mental overload, I hope you press pause or work through while I was talking. And if you did not come up with the correct answer choice, that is totally fine, okay? So the range of a function is going to be the set of all possible outputs or y values, okay, where the graph of the function exists. And um, the minimum y value on this graph is obviously going to be 64 degrees Fahrenheit. Um, and the maximum value occurs here at 76 degrees Fahrenheit. And additionally, uh, the graph takes on all the y values between 64 and 76. 
Hence, the range is the interval between 64 and 76. This means that answer choice D is the correct answer choice. 64 degrees is less than or equivalent to Y is less than or equivalent to 76 degrees. All right.